what happens was that is the version that the candidate has with her that she has mutilated. So it's practically impossible for us to know how many people are keeping such versions with them until when you come to the public uh, space. Update. I don't bring in our Bunga news, and uh, I want I go show now the video how this uh, Anabra girl, secondary school girl, finished just right jump, and he changed he jump score from two hundred to three hundred and sixty something. You know, in Anabra State, Mesoma Ejikeme Joy. A name now, Mesoma Ejikeme Joy from Anambra State. You know, this girl changed a result uh, from two something to three sixty one. Amazing! I don't know how he did that. He just went to grab eggs and make that. But we go hear from the spokesperson of Jump, <laughs> and this one in the narrate how the TT go down. Now, know why this get one? The highest person for 2023 Jump. So it's called the highest for Jump for this 2023. Now from Anna Brastit, and. In the try to claim, say, because in the know, say, that girl come from uh, uh, Anambra and he won't quick snatch, he won't quick get her. That is wickedness. I, you know, know me, I know the stand against that, but I just won't bring you now this information. I want to tell you now, say, this kind of thing, no good, this one are evil. And as I they tell you now, DSS, they are already after the girl, they are already after the girl. I tell you, the girl, go pay. What happened was that is the version that the candidate has with her that she has mutilated. So it's practically impossible for us to know how many people are keeping such versions with them until when you come to the public uh, space. And then news begin to make all around that, okay, you have this. That is when we now go back to our system to check whatever claim that you're laying. This particular candidate, that uh, one uh, very prominent Nigeria awarded her a scholarship to the tune of three million naira, and then uh, I think Anambra State government were also trying to receive her and uh, honor her also. So a call was placed to the board that the candidate we had announced the highest scorer for the year 2023, which incidentally happens to also come from uh, Anambra State. And when we got this information that somebody is laying claim to 362, we went into our system. Search and we discovered that this particular card, there was nobody with a score of, uh, of uh, 362. But what I did, because uh, the Commissioner for Education in Anambra State actually called me and I asked her to send the result to me. For every result that is printed from our system, it comes out with a QR code. The QR code is a security device on that result. So the first thing I did was to scan the QR code. So when I scanned the QR code on her result slip, the slip she's holding with 362, I had discovered that that QR code belongs to a candidate who sat the examination in 2021, one Omo Bonlale, and that candidate scored 138 in 2021. And I became curious. So I went into the system with the name, with the registration number, because she put her registration number, she put the scores she obtained, and I would check in the system, and we discovered that she scored 249 and not 362. As a matter of fact, there is nothing, there is no score 362 in our own system. So we, we are not aware of this uh, issue until when she brought it in the public uh, space. Because what she did was just to have a slip, paper, for instance, and then she mutilated, maybe used graphic uh, design to mutilate the scores, and then she was parading that score. So there is no way we know that such a particular version of result is being circulated in the public space. As